GraphQL versus REST, which one would you use? Let's break that down in 60 seconds. REST APIs require multiple endpoints that return a fixed set of data. So the downside here is that you might overfetch, which means you'll return more data than needed, or underfetch, which might require you to use multiple different endpoints. Here we have the Rick and Morty REST API. If we want to get a character, we have to use the character REST API endpoint. As you can see, we get so much data back. If we want to fetch for something very specific, we have have to use a brand new endpoint. So here we're using an endpoint that has a parameter to get the exact data that we need. GraphQL actually solves all of this with a single endpoint. Here we have that same Rick and Morty API, but in GraphQL, we're going to go ahead and query for characters. We can basically specify what we need, like ID and name, and then we can query and we get just the data that we need using a single endpoint. This makes GraphQL a lot more flexible, but it requires a dedicated GraphQL server. REST can be simple and it's widely used, whereas GraphQL is great when it comes to working with complex data. So which one do you prefer? If you like this example, be sure to check out some more videos when it comes to working with GraphQL in Postman and be sure to share your thoughts in the comments.